Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, if you notice uh, that my voice sounds really bad right now, it's because I'm really sick. So my nose is soft, my voice sounds bad. Sorry about that, hopefully you can cope with it throughout the whole video, but I really wanted to get this video out there because a lot of you have been asking me uh, how to install plugins and how to make paint.net better with plugins. And uh, I, I said to a lot of people that I've already ha done a, uh, a tutorial on this a while ago, I think about a year ago, I made a video called how to install paint on add plugins, which got a lot of views and I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen, but if you haven't, I, I will refer you to that one. But that video just kind of shows you how to install them manually and stuff and how to drag it into your folder. So if you want to know how to do that, watch that video. This video, I'm going to be showing you my recommendations for which plugins to get to make paint.net a lot better. And really, there's only about two plugins that I really recommend for you guys to install uh, to make paint.net really close to that Photoshop alternative. So yeah, as you can see in paint.net, if I, I have a lot more effects, I have a lot more adjustments than what you usually would have. And that's because I have the uh, Bolt Bait plugin pack for paint.net. So it's this one right here. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, this is basically a plugin pack made by an actual admin of the paint.net forum, so this is official, this is legit, and he will be updating this pretty frequently. As you can see, it was updated last August of 2017 of this year, when it was originally posted in 2015. So he's keep always updating this, always adding new effects, and uh, it's really, really cool. So right, this is probably my favorite plugin pack because it adds so many really useful plugin packs that I use daily when I'm making thumbnails. If I slowly scroll through the effects here, this is what he, you can add to it. Uh, color balance, that's the adjustments menu, so many effects to the effects menu, uh, and this is where you can add the bevel. The, it does have an object shadow, but is, it is a bit different from the drop shadow that I always show in my tutorials. There you go, you can pause the video if you want. Uh, so this is the Bolt Bait plugin pack, this is what I have installed. So install this one, and I'll show you how to install both of them, because I have another one I want to show you. This other one is called, it's right above it actually, Drop Shadow and Other Effects Chris VDM's plugin pack. So. This is the one which has the drop shadow that I always use in basically every single one of my thumbnails. And a lot of you have been asking me, how do I get drop shadow? I can't find it. Or if I try to install it, there's a virus or whatever. And I'm here to clear up everything. If you do exactly what I do and you don't get tricked by anything, because of course the internet will try to trick you uh, with ads and, and malware and spyware and stuff because it's the internet. So make sure you don't get tricked by any of that stuff and do exactly what I'm showing you how to install these plugin packs because if you do that, you'll be completely fine. There are no viruses whatsoever because, well, this is the official paint on a forum. They won't allow users to have viruses in their download links. So what I'm gonna do is go to this one right here. I'll leave bo both links in the description. Press uh, this link, press download now. Uh, download it to wherever you want. As you can see, I already have it, so I'm not gonna download that. Go back to the Bolt Bait plugin pack for paint.net and click this button right here, Bolt Bait Pack 47.zip. Uh, you can donate to him if you want. If you want to support him, you don't have to. And I already have it too installed. It's in my uh, paint.net plugins. I have it already there. So once you've downloaded and installed that, go to the folder where they're both downloaded and then uh, right click on them, press extract to the name of the folder. You'll have it there and do the same with Bulbate one, but I already have it there. So as you can see here, it is an installer. So as, as I've said before, you guys said that you don't trust it because it's an EXE and usually EXEs come with viruses. I know I get the, I get I get that sense of uh, security a lot, but don't worry, this one is completely safe. You can run your antivirus through it, don't worry. You just double click it, you can run it as admin. And uh, follow the, uh, right there. Follow the steps that it will show you how to do. And you can even check which ones you want, right there. Press install, I already have them, so I'm gonna press cancel. So yeah, install that, then you're completely done with that one. Then go to the bolt bait pack, uh, open up the installer, press yes. Um, the screen will be black, sorry about that. There we go, just press yes, because there's the, do you agree to open this, and just press yes. Uh, there, and you can even also check which ones you want to uh, download and install. And then you press I agree, install, and then you have them all installed. You can restart your paint.net, and once you open it, you will have all your new shiny effects. So, if you install both of them, you should have Object Drop Shadow, the one that all of you guys tell, are asking me how to install. That's how to install the drop shadow and all these other effects. So uh, let's just add a little picture here. I'm just gonna make it a 1280 by 720, which is the actual, uh, the aspect ratio that I recommend if you're making thumbnails on YouTube. I'm just gonna add a picture quickly. So I'm just gonna add a picture of a Toronto city skyline here. 
and uh, let's go through all the effects that these new plugin packs, well not all of them, but the ones that I use frequently add. So if we go to adjustments, I really don't use the ones in adjustments. The only thing I use in adjustments here is probably curves. There we go. So if you uh, choose RGB, bring down the bottom part of the curve, bring up this top part of the curve right there and press OK. It adds a lot more contrast to the picture. So if I, if I press Control Z, that's what it looks like before. Press Control Y, this is what it looks like now. It just looks, the colors pop a lot more. It's more saturated, it's more contrast. That's all I really use for. I also use transparency a lot. I bring down the transparency, just all, all it does is bring down the opacity of the picture and bringing up the opacity doesn't really do it at anything at all. Uh, it just bring it down does. It makes it fade it out a bit more. So for the effects, um, as you can see now you can flip everything. Uh, that's I don't really use that. So if we go to artistic, uh, it adds these dream, which makes it really dreamlike and cool and whatever. I don't use this at all, but I think you can find a lot of use for this definitely. And finally, it adds pastel, which basically adds a pastel. It's pretty cool. Um, I really don't see the use of this. Except, oh, I like this though. If you bring down the pastel size, it actually it, might, it actually does look like a painting, which is really really cool. I like the effect of it. And if you make it less saturated. Wow, you now you have a cool painting. If you go to effects blurs menu, all this adds is Gaussian blur plus, which is basically the same as Gaussian blur, but if you if you uncheck one of them, it won't blur out the blue or it won't blur out the green or it won't blur out the red, which is actually pretty useful. Uh, but I don't use this that much. You can even change the blending mode of it. It's really really nice. By the way, I'm only looking at the bold bait, what the bolt bait pack adds to paint.net, not the Chris VDM one yet cuz they don't have a list of plugins, so I'm, I have no idea what I forgot what the VDM plugin adds, but it adds a lot, a lot, a lot of cool things, and I might go through them later on. So if you go to effects fill, all it does is it fills whatever you have copied to your click clipboard clip clipboard onto your current selection or uh, with a file. With that's all it does. So moving on to object uh, bolt bait, basically, I think it pretty much adds the whole object tab and effects. So it adds a bevel object. You can make like looks like a freaking bevel, which is looks kind of weird, but you you might find some use for that. It adds feather, which only feathers the outside of the picture if you have a smaller picture. Also, if you guys want to know what plugin pack the effect comes from, all you have to do is hover over it, and as you can see, it, it, it says right there, plugin vandermottenpaid.net author Chris Vandermotten, and if you hover over bevel object, plugin bevel object author copyright bolt bait. So all you have to do is hover over it, and you'll see which plugin pack it comes from, or if it's not, if it's not a plugin pack at all. If it doesn't come with this puzzle piece right here, that means it's an it's not an extra plugin. So yeah, these uh, little blue puzzle pieces on the right side means that it is uh, an extra plugin. So again, I'm not gonna really go through all the effects uh, through through it. I'm gonna show you the ones that I use frequently because this video will be too long. If you want to know exactly what it does, just play around with it, or you can go on the websites that I have linked and they show you exactly what each plugin pack. Has. So again, what I use a lot is inner shadow. Basically, it adds an inner shadow inside the picture of it. So let me actually make this smaller. Right? So if I go to object inner shadow, which I do use a lot, as you can see there, it adds an inner black shadow on the inside right there. Not really see too much, but if I bring up the shadow length, there you go. Now you can see the, the inner shadow length. You can even change the color. You can make a red inner shadow there. Now you can definitely see it. Blue, this looks pretty cool, but I, I like using white and then uh, bringing down the shadow length a bit and then bring up the blur radius make it slightly blue or slightly the color of the picture adds a cool nice glowy effect to it that I really like the look of this I do a lot of this uh, I do a lot for text too and yeah that's what the inner shadow is it also adds object shadow which is uh, an alternative to drop shadow from the Chris VDM pack uh, the the shadow itself looks i think in my opinion a lot better than the than the chris vdm pack as you can see the chris the shadow is a lot smoother i don't know it just looks a lot better you can bring up the shadow strength uh i like the shadow a lot better than the the chris vdm the chris vdm one but the reason why i like chris vdm one drop shadow a lot is because uh you can make it not a drop shadow, you can make it like that stroke that you see on like in Photoshop. You see a thumbnails a lot these days, you have the blue border around it or the white border. That's why I like this one a lot better. And you can even add the other effect too by just bringing down the widening radius, bring up the blur radius, 
and you have that cool subtle drop shadow. Another thing that I use a lot in um, in Paint on it is this thing called Combine Adjustment. So this is what you can do to make your uh, pictures a lot better. So I'm gonna bring up the shadow, I'm gonna bring down the shadow cover a lot. You can bring, change the brightness, bring up the contrast of the picture, but I, you can do all this in curves. You can make the temperature light or more blue or more warm. You can change the tints of it, which is cool. The saturation, and it's really, really nice. I love this. I use this a lot too. Uh, you can also, you can do this in curves, but the curves is more advanced. So you can just use sliders here, which is a lot more simple. So yeah, I use that a lot too. Uh, I don't really use that much. I, if I need to make a photo uh, meme maker, what, 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 what is this? So yeah, you can make your own memes now. Yep, you can make your own memes. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Good job, Bolt Bait. Good job. That's amazing. So yeah, they have, they have a lot of other cool stuff in uh, photo here. I also love adding a vignette basically adds a cool shadow on the outside of it if i bring up the radius a bit and bring down the density then adds a nice subtle vignette to it and that's what i like adding to all my thumbnails you can even make the vignette white which is another cool effect that i like and that's pretty much it i don't really add too much i sometimes feather stuff i don't really stylize but that's how i make most of my thumbnails uh, i just add the text add ingredients add inner shadow add drop shadow um, add some brushes to add the cool lights effect. Add a cool brush effect on the top. Add a cool light effect to it. I actually make it into an overlay. So now the light is uh, it just looks like it's making the whole thing lighter. <laughs> That's really not an effect. That's just a cool thing I like doing. If I keep adding brushes to this effect, I can make the whole thing look lighter. Oh yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. So... That's basically my two plugin packs that I really, really recommend. As you can see, uh, a lot of these are bolt bait. A lot of these are the Chris VDM one. If you just hover over them, you can see that average blur is the Chris VDM one. Object drop shadow, one I use a lot, is Chris VDM. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. It's kind of a longer one, but I kind of want to show you. A lot of you have been asking me, Justin, which effects you think I should use? Or how do you install them without getting viruses? You won't get viruses, trust me, uh, if you do exactly how I do in this video. Your computer will be safe, and you will have all these amazing effects to really make Paint.net so much powerful and so much closer to that Photoshop alternative. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you can tolerate my voice throughout this whole video. I know I sound like um, I'm pinching my nose throughout the whole thing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or concerns, leave in the comments below if you liked the video. Maybe subscribe if you're new and leave a like if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.